Hey everybody, Jamie here with an update on the van build out for Tamara. I promised at the, at the outset from this that if we went through the process and ran into little hiccups along the way that I would include those two and I don't know that I would necessarily call this a hiccup or you know it's just a logistical challenge that has to be dealt with and I want to show if you're out there looking for your own van or rig to live in and you run into extra more than maybe necessary uh, issues to make that happen that that's completely normal and I'm going through the same thing uh, getting this van for Tamara so let me let you know let me share with you what's going on right now I'm in Provo Utah we're gonna do the build at uh, gal's house I don't know if she wants me to say her name yet or not but she's been kind enough to offer us uh, some property uh, side uh, where her house and some property is up near uh, Ogden for the build. So I'm down in Provo, Ogden, I'm gonna say, I'm just off the top of my head is like 80 miles north, I'm guessing on that. But the time has come for us to go ahead and pull the trigger on a van. One of Tamara's parameters w was that she wanted to be able to stand up in it and so we initially started looking at schoolies we initially started looking at shuttle buses uh, such as the type that you would use to shuttle people to and from the airport things like that uh, municipal type vehicles and the GoFundMe now sits at just under three thousand dollars the limit was set to be uh, eighty eight hundred and eighty eight dollars figuring that we'd want to put tires on it figuring that we'd want to outfit it and might have to change some engine components or do a brake job. I can do a lot of that labor myself. There isn't that much that we can't do ourselves with uh, Larry backing me. But uh, we need to have the funds to be able to afford it. So here's what's going on. Here are my challenges that I'm dealing with right now, which uh, are just things that have to be dealt with and worked around. We're sitting on $2,870 on the GoFundMe right now. Uh, that has uh, left a lot of vehicles off the list because not only is GoFundMe going to take 8% but we also have to have some funds left over to make runs to the hardware store and get the lumber necessary and the hardware necessary to go ahead and build out the inside of it. I'm going to set up a Amazon wish list and link to that at some point with a lot of the ancillaries. Right now we've got Jax Austin has donated a stovetop brand new propane stovetop uh, Scott and Laura have donated a Thetford porta potty it should be at uh, Kay's house right now and uh, oh I just mentioned her name and uh, Mike I'm gonna say Zebrick but that's probably wrong I call him Mike Z we did a solar installation for him in uh, Gooseberry Mesa 
and he donated his battery which was a deep cycle battery holding a charge to her build so now we have right now a battery we could probably get a better one he got better ones that's why this one's free uh freed up we've got the stove top and we've got the the thetford porta potty we still have a long way to go as far as the bed the drapes the curtains the bedding the refrigerator the solar panels on the roof the solar controller you know we still have a long way to go with all that stuff but i've now decided that i'm not going to look for a high top and let that be where we start if we can find a good solid van with a good engine and transmission and, and not very much rust on it and it's got good bones then we'll go ahead and look for a high top that we can get a donor from a junkyard or get her off on the right foot with the van that we get and she can look for a top you know in her spare time even find one and bring it to the van build and have us put it on for free but at least you'll have the the basic platform that's reliable and has a bed and has a lot more room than a car now so that's what's going on with that i have looked up on craigslist ksl not so much but craigslist is showing a lot of vans that uh, would be in our price range i'm thinking our price range is about 1500 bucks give or take i'd like to get one for about 12 or 13 so we have that much more to completely replace the brakes or or uh, have that much more for the hardware on building out the inside but that's where we're starting with now here's some hiccups for us my bank i live the traveling lifestyle my bank is in denver colorado it's in colorado and uh minnesota they decided that they were going to move everybody over to RFID cards. The card that I have is not a RFID card and it expires in 2020. Well, they've decided that they're going to move everybody over to RFID cards and cancel everybody's existing card. So I've been on the phone with them multiple times trying to work this out. And what's going on is they've canceled my card. So I've got money from the GoFundMe in my checking account, but I can't access it to buy a vehicle with my debit card because they've canceled it and i say okay fine you canceled it mail me a new one into st george and they say we can't just mail you a debit card to any old location that you give us it has to be the location that you have on file with us and it has to be aged so i'm not in my bank account address was cottonwood arizona i'm hundreds of miles from there uh there and back you know, I'm probably five or six hundred miles from there, whatever Cottonwood, Arizona, and Provo, Utah is six, seven hundred miles away, one way. And so that's out. Um, I ask them to mail it to where I am, they won't mail it to where I am. I tell them that I can give them my pin number on the phone. There's a phone pin number in addition to the one you use when you take money out on your ATM. Uh, I can give them my pin, my phone pin number. I can tell them the location that I set my account up. I can tell them how long I've had my account. I've had my account for 20 years. Uh, I can give them the ingredients to the secret sauce, a treasure map to where the treasure's buried. I can tell them things about their bank that they don't even know. There's people that have been uh, working there that were four years old when I set up my account. I mean, everything that I try, TCF Bank will not send me a card. So this is a workaround. I've got the money. I've already started transferring it over into my account. GoFundMe is going to take 8%, but I've got to get access to it. So the solution that i've come up with I've, I've got a couple solutions i've got a paypal account paypal is sending me a debit card the debit card is going to be mailed to the location where the build is going to be i don't know when i'm going to get it we're going to try to pull the trigger on a van uh, in the next couple of days so larry who's been traveling with me to help me on this build has set up a check in a separate account from his bank so i'm going to paypal the money to him and then he's going to take it out of any location around because that's how banks work except for mine uh, as far as being easy to work with and uh, so that's how we're gonna get the money I'm gonna take it tr email it to through PayPal to his account he's gonna then march into a bank take that money out then we're gonna have cash in hand the other logistical thing that we have to to deal with is that we got a lot of good vans uh, I got a lot of good vans emailed to me and sent to me the hyperlinks to but they're in Tennessee but they're in an auction in Georgia but they're in Southern California well if we have to go a thousand miles or two thousand miles to get that vehicle that comes out of the GoFundMe those traveling expenses which reduces our even you know if those uh, vehicles were within our price range it lowers it even more so these are just challenges that we have to come up with a way to deal with so what I'm gonna do right now I'm in the 
Planet Fitness parking lot. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna get this video up, get another video up. I've got more of the girls' safety video that I need to post. And then get a hold of Evan, who's helping out in the search, and make sure he's, he can be around. Uh, I think Boomhauer might be around to help out with the search up in Ogden and get rid of, uh, get a hold of uh, Kay and let her know that we're heading up there. And basically, we're just going to drive up there tomorrow and then look for vans out of Ogden because that way, when we get there, we'll have two things. We'll have the cash on hand to pay for it, and we'll have somebody on hand to drive it to the build-out location. Without those two things, we really don't have much to work with. So those are the challenges that we're dealing with right now, and that's how we're going to deal with them. Uh, I think very soon we're going to have a good solid vehicle to start with on our, as our platform and I'm real excited that this is going to start uh, manifesting itself. I'll, I'll get the vehicle, we'll get Evan or Boomhauer to help us drive it back. We could even use Larry to help us drive it back if we're at the location of where the build's going to be. And then we, we will come up with a materials list, start a wish list on the Amazon for the solar and stuff and start building the inside of it out. So that's where everything is just stuff that we all have to deal with you know and I, and I wanted to make sure that I shared that with you so you know that it didn't run smooth sailing every step of the way for us when things come along you just deal with them and work around them so that's what we're doing Tisha has gone off to camp by herself for I don't know if it's gonna be a week or two weeks so until we hear from her she's out of the picture and so that's what we're dealing with and I will keep you posted Thanks to everyone who's donated on the GoFundMe. You guys are all rock stars. I super appreciate it. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. And I will get to you more information as soon as I have it. Thanks a lot. See ya.